Who has not experienced back or neck pain after a long day at the office or suffered from an ankle sprain after playing outside? This is not only because you're not training enough or sitting for too long in front of the computer, but also because during human evolution we moved from walking on four to walking on two legs. My name is Ella Bin. I'm the head of the sport therapy department at Ono Academic College and a professor of human anatomy and evolution. I've been studying the changes that happen to the human body during the evolution of erect posture and bipedality for over 20 years now. One of the questions that have always interested me is what is the price we're paying, we humans, for walking on two legs, for standing erect? The story starts at about six million years ago when forests in Africa were replaced by savanna. The common ancestor of humans and chimpanzees lived in Africa at that time and walked on four legs just like chimpanzee. From that common ancestor, one group has started to adopt the erect posture and bipedality, walking on two legs. In that process of becoming bipedal, a few changes happened. The head has moved above the pelvis in erect posture as opposed to the head in front of the pelvis in chimps. The pelvis or the pelvic outlet, the outing of the pelvis that is facing backwards in chimpanzee is facing downwards in humans. The spine which is straight in chimpanzee has become curved in humans. The base of support that we're standing on has reduced from four limbs to two limbs which makes equilibrium much harder. So how did it all affect us? We will review the human body from toes to head and discuss the major changes and the influence on humans. The foot of a chimpanzee is different from that of humans. It is flat and the thumb is separated from the rest of the toes, just like our hand. In humans, on the other hand, the foot is arched and the thumb is in the same plane as the rest of the toes. As a result, the ankle joint of humans is further away from the ground and the foot is very narrow. The ankle joint is supported by four ligaments. The combination of an ankle joint that is placed further away from the ground, that in every step that we take, all of the body weight is loading on the joint and the fact that it is, its stability is based on four ligaments causes the number one orthopedic problem in the world which is ankle sprain. Moving up from the ankle joint to the pelvis, we see that when humans adopted erect posture the pelvis became much shorter to lower the position of the center of gravity and enable better balance. It also changed the orientation. In chimps, the pelvis is horizontal and the pelvic outlet is facing backwards, while in humans, the pelvic, the pelvis is more upright and the pelvic outlet is facing downwards. Because of the pelvis is facing downward, the abdominal organ, mostly the intestine, are pressing on the urinary bladder. This is why women with weak pelvic floor muscles suffer from urinary incontinence. This is not a problem for the female chimp because her pelvis is, is facing backwards. Another major issue in humans is childbirth. In chimpanzees, childbirth is a piece of cake. Because of the shortening of the pelvis, the pelvic outlet that fetus says is passing through on its way out is smaller. On top of that, the head of the fetuses in humans is large. As a result, childbirth in humans is complicated and dangerous. In ancient times, the number one reason for death of young women was during childbirth. Fortunately, we find a solution for this problem, which is already performed by the Romans 2000 years ago, which is caesarean surgery. Above the pelvis, we have the vertebral spine. The sinusoidal shape of the spines with a pronounced lumbar lordosis and cervical lordosis also results from bipedality. This shape, as opposed to the straight shape of the spine of chimps, is built for shock absorption and preventing the forces coming from the 
ground at every step to reach the head. This sinusoidal shape, in combination with the bait of our upper body and the head, is one of the reasons why we suffer so badly from back and neck pain. Bipedality is also associated with changes in the head. There are two major changes. Compared to chimps, our mastication area and our chewing system is very small. Our upper and lower jaws and our teeth are much smaller than that of a chimps. And we rely on preparation of the food, like cooking or frying, so we can absorb enough energy. On the other hand, our brains are three times the size of that of a chimp. The average weight of the brain of a chimpanzee is about 400 grams. The brain of an adult human is about 1,200 to 1,300 grams. This large brain requires a lot of energy to develop, and it takes almost 20 years until it completes its development, as opposed to six years in chimps. As a result, it takes the human child many more years to reach independence. As you can see, evolution gives us an explanation why it takes the human child so long before it moves out of his parents' house. So, to sum things up, we are paying a price for our bipedality, such as high incidence of ankle sprain, back pain, complicated and dangerous childbirth. On the other hand, Bipedality freed our hands and enabled the enlargement of our brains, which helped us to reach every continent on the globe. Understanding the evolutionary perspective of disease can help us develop better ways to treat it. So the next time you suffer from back pain, you can do some exercises on all four to relieve the pain. There is a good chance it might help you. Thank you very much.